Hello, hello. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time you're watching this. I um, wanted to come on here and do a video um, calling it Battle of the Brands. And the two brands that I wanted to try this time, because I'll be doing more, were two brands that I have seen a lot on um, social media. So we have dun, 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 Lust. Love your curls. It's called L U S. L U S. Love your curls. And this is a three part system. It comes with a shampoo, a conditioner, and this is the curl cream. So I wanted to battle this because I do like the concept of this being just three products. Um, your cream is all you need, you know, wash and go. What I loved about this product, and I will get more into detail with that in a moment, was is that it's activated by water. And I, you know, us curly girls, we need moisture. So that really excited me when I first saw this. And when I first started my curly hair journey, I had started off with this product and I was obsessed. But since then, I've been getting into trying different products and things like that. So one of the products I wanted to try was... Riso's Curls. And this is a, a product that I saw on Instagram. And it is by, it's Latina owned, which I think is amazing. Um, but what I liked about it, you see how she has a little curly emblem. What I liked about it is this one comes with a hair refresher. So don't mind the noise. It comes with this little pump, this little hair refresher so when the curls start to dwindle during the week you can kind of spray this on and it refreshes the curls okay so i wanted to take these two products and make them go head to head and i wanted to see which one i was going to like better and i swore in my mind there was going to be a queer a clear winner and a clear loser but i was wrong of course of course i was wrong there can't be because as i've been learning um, for those of you who don't know, I have been on my natural journey for about eight months now. I was one who was straightening my hair since my daughter was, before my daughter was born. My daughter is nine and she had said to me one day, you don't have curly hair, mommy. Your hair is straight. And when she said that to me, I was like, oh, I probably should start giving the straightener a little break. I'm also a licensed cosmetologist, so I know better. But it was convenient to have my hair straight and not have to work at putting curls back into my hair. So I decided, a coworker of mine decided to go natural. I loved what was happening with her hair. It looked healthy. My ends were always really dry. And I said, you know, I'm going to try it. First attempt, I lasted about two weeks and I gave up and straightened my hair. Second attempt happened this summer. Um, I started it, I want to say, around June. And I haven't given up. And I've just kept going and going. And now you'll see in the pictures now i actually have some curl this is not the curl i grew up with but i love it again i am years old i have three children so no this isn't the hair that i had when i was 16 or 17 years old and it's not going to be i understand that you know my kids um as i had children my curl got looser and looser some people their hair changes in a different way their curl pattern might get tighter mine's got more loose with each child so i understand that my curl pattern is different now i've also learned to understand that my curl pattern is not the curl pattern of some of my favorite youtube artists like bianca renee or main spy mel their curls they are the ones who have really helped me through this journey but their curls are tighter than mine i have learned that i have a 2c 3a curl pattern and I'm learning how to work with that. With that being said, let's get into this review. So let's talk about curl patterns. I believe, in my opinion, this hair today, as you can see, give you a little light. I don't know if that helps. You can see the curls. This is with the Lust system. Okay. Um, what are my thoughts? So I love the fact that it's activated with water so this morning last night i did wash day so this is day two hair last night i did wash day and as i put it up in my pineapple i could tell that the ends were not so curly right they look hydrated though 
but not so curly. And I was getting a little frizz in here. My roots are not so curly. And in the pictures you'll see from all my other, um, through this video, you'll see pictures where my roots are actually super, super curly. And then my ends get a lot curlier. So with that being said, I feel like I enjoy what this does for my hair as far as how it feels. I can put my fingers through it. Um, I can touch it and it bounces back. We have some pretty definition in there. I'm not saying it doesn't give me definition. Look how pretty. I'm loving these curls. But I am also in what we call curl rehab. So I feel like for curl rehab, I need something with a little bit more hold, a little bit more strength, a little bit creamier. This is a little bit on the thinner side. I'll show you. So see, it's runny. If I do this, it does run. It's a little bit thinner. See how thin that is? So this is, um, not that it's bad, but my hair needed a little bit more. Now, what I will say is it's super hydrating. Like I feel like, see, just putting that little bit on, my, my curls wanna curl back up. So what I noticed is when I woke up this morning, I wasn't very happy with my, the way my hair looked and I was like, oh, I don't think I will use this anymore. And then I went and I said, let me try and put some more water. This is my, it looks fuzzy, but it's just because I have essential oils in here. Essential oils are great for your hair and water. So I said, let me just try it and I sprayed it. And as soon as I did that, look what it does. Those curls bounced right back. Look how pretty. And it dried beautifully. It dried, you know, I mean, I've been playing, I've been touching my hair all day, but it dried beautifully. So the reason that is, is because this product is activated by water. You want to use a lot of water when you're using this product. So I did like that. Now, in some of my other video, in some of my, okay, so you can see though, that though it does curl it, because I'm in rehab, my ends are still trying to adjust to being curly again. So I'm, I'm due for um, a haircut, but so it's trying, but it needs a little help. It needs a little bit help. So I'm gonna see, let's see, I'll put some of this on my ends and see if it, now this, Riso's curls, see how thick that is? So I don't think that it's because this product is not good and this product is better. I think it's because this product is thinner and this one is thicker, so it's giving me a little bit more hold. So even when I go like that, you can see it's it's a lot thicker. And I'm gonna take that. Let's see what it does. See what that's doing? That's already trying to curl those ends a little bit better for me. And it's because the product is thicker. So my curl, my hair needs a thicker product. So in conclusion, do I love Luss? I do. I do love what it's doing to my quote unquote virgin hair. Do I love what it's doing to my hair that still needs rehab? No, I don't. Um... And it makes me sad to say that because I actually really like this product a lot. But it, it maybe when I'm a year in, it'll be better. But right now, I don't think, because I have been wearing my hair curly. And when I use anything else, and we'll talk about resource curls next, um, this usually curls up a lot better. When I diffuse it, it's up to about here. And the curls sit nice and tight. I can't seem to get that with the Lust system. And I'm so sorry for everyone out there who loves Lust. Please, please, please don't think I'm saying I don't love it because again, look at the virgin hair. It's beautiful. But for the hair that needs help, it's not giving me hold. I just need something a little bit stronger. I need something a little bit heavier. Now let's talk about Riso's Curls. So I've been using Riso's Curls. This is my second set that I've ordered. Um, they have a shampoo, a conditioner. They have the refreshing cream or the ref refresh and detangle spray and they have their curl cream how do i feel about resource curls so the first time i put it on i love the smell i love their product um imagery i love that they have all these cool you know you have like the comb 
You have these cute brushes that they have. They have little clips that you can put in your hair. I love the way they brand themselves. Love, love, love. So I was like, I'm gonna love this product. So I put it on my hair and the first day that I wore it, I wasn't so sure that I loved it. At that time, I had been using Curl Talk, which I love Curl Talk. I'd been using Curl Talk and I'd been using, but I use a mix because I use a mix all the time of products. I don't use one thing. So it, this is hard for me to use one brand. I only use the Lust Shampoo and Conditioner. I only use Riesel Curls Shampoo and Conditioner. And it's kind of hard for me because I like to mix. Okay, so this is Shea Moisture. This is Curl Talk. This is my Holy Grail right now. But I tried Riesel's Curls. First day I did it, I was like, oh, it just felt a little less moisturizing. And I was like, why? This stuff has tons of amazing ingredients in here. Like my hair should be so soft. Then I, the next day, I refreshed with a little bit of the spray and it still felt a little heavy, right? And I said, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to keep, I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go through this. By day three, my hair was gorgeous. Not only was it gorgeous, it lasted me. It lasted me, don't judge me. It lasted me a good six days before I even washed it. And I only washed it because I was like, it's been six days. I should probably wash my hair. I could have went days and days and days with the hold that Resource Curl gave me. Was my hair as soft as this? Did I feel like I can do this with Resource Curls? Probably not as soft, but the hold was amazing. And it looked shiny. It looked healthy. So it's almost like I, I feel like I have to go back and choose. I have to choose... Do I want it to be soft and long? Because it does, the lust makes my hair, gives me my, my length. Where with the resource curls, you'll see in the pictures, my, my hair shrinks because it's more of a hold. So I have to choose, do I like the softness or do I like the hold? Now, personally, personally, and again, this isn't saying I don't love lust. I think it's great for reparative. Like if you're trying to get on your feet with the curls and you need to put that moisture back into your hair and maybe just restore before you go on to something like this, I think lust is great. I think the system is amazing. I think that it smells great. I think that it's just so soft. My hair feels so good. I've got nowhere to go though. So it's okay for me to feel this soft. But every day I need hold. So... That being said, and I think that would be the only reason I if I have to choose one, because it's really hard. I wish I could put these together, which I can, because I do it a lot. Together, I think they'd be amazing. I think they'd be amazing. Maybe I will do that. Maybe tomorrow I'll refresh with Riesel's on top of Lus, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. But if I have to battle just going by just the line, and which one I would feel more comfortable with wearing every day. Because as you can see, there's some frizz in here. And I know some people love frizz, but I, I am not there yet. I need, I need hold. So the winner to me out of these two are going to be Riesel's. They won for me. I'm so sorry, love, because I really like you. I really do like you. I love how soft my hair is. I love this. But this isn't going to hold up for me. This is not going to hold up for me. But I can touch it, right? Where with Riesel's curls, when I do this, it lasted me. My hair, my curls lasted. And I was able to pull that curl and it would bounce right back up. I had enough holds. I had minimal frizz. You'll see that in the, in the pictures that I put in this video. Minimal frizz, like hardly none. And when I did, I would just take a little bit of the spray. I put it in my hands and I would go through like this. I would just, that's not the right one. Is it? No, this one. I put water in one of those because I finished it. So I would take a little bit and I would just pick the part that needed a little extra reinforcement like this. And I would scrunch. Scrunch, scrunch. See how it's red? Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. So right now, Riesel's Curls is... See, I just want to spray 
my whole head with this now. I love, I think out of Resource Curls though, my favorite product is their Curl Refresher. I, I bought backups of this, I believe. I bought two more of these because I just, I love it. Look what it did. See? And when that dries, it's just going to stay. The curls, the curl pattern is going to stay. It's not going to be frizzy. So yeah, I think head to head, I'm going to have to go with Resource Curls as the winner. I was panicking when I was running out, which made me know that I need it. Um, and the prices, it's a little bit, it's actually a little bit more expensive than less. Um, Resource Curls is, well, I got the bundle for like 70. So it's 60 something. And the Love Your Curls was 45. So, but I don't know. So again, you kind of just got to choose what you're going for. If you're going for more of a soft, I think for hair that's wavy, Lust all day. Wavy hair girls, lust, right? I think if you need a little bit more hold, Riso's is your is your jam. Riso's might be a little too heavy for people who are not looking to really have a strong curl pattern. They just want a nice wave. I think that's why you want to stick with lust. So it just depends on what your curl pattern is. That's what I was telling you. And for me, I like the tight curls. You'll see in the pictures the difference between today and when I use Riso's. So the winner, guys is Riso's Curls for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried either of these products and what your thoughts are. And that was fun. Battle of the Brands. Both amazing, amazing brands. Amazing brands. But for me, Riso's took the cake. Have a great night. God bless.